Hi, I'm Dr. James Kojin. In this video, we're going to learn how to lower your hunger and how to reduce your cravings, especially your carb cravings. The reason why this is so important is because we as Americans are the heaviest country in the entire world. And as a result, we are the unhealthiest country in the world. There are more than 40 countries that live longer than we do, even though we spend double the amount that they do on health care. 40 countries plus still live longer and healthier than we do. So as Americans, it's very important for us to learn how to eat less and how to fight hunger by eliminating it. This graph is going to teach us how we can reduce hunger. The way to do this is to reduce the amount of ghrelin in your bloodstream. Ghrelin is the hormone of hunger and it's what drives you to eat. So when you eat breakfast in the morning and if your breakfast is a high carb meal, like shown in red, if your breakfast has bread or pasta or banana, oatmeal, apple, oranges, orange juice, cereal, your body has to compensate for all this carb, for all this sugar, by secreting a tremendous amount of insulin to lower the sugar that you just ate. So what your body has to do is secrete all this insulin, but then two, three hours later, the insulin crashes. And when it crashes, ghrelin is secreted. And when ghrelin is secreted, you start feeling hungry. And so this hunger sets in two, three hours later. You don't know what to do. You're hungry. So you eat lunch. And if your lunch has more than 30 grams of carbs, then your body's going to have to secrete a lot of insulin to lower all of this glucose to lower all of this carb and all of this sugar and so then your insulin goes up in the afternoon it crashes ghrelin shows up you're hungry and the same pattern repeats itself day after day week after week month after month and you don't understand why at the end of the year why you're gaining weight why it's so hard for you to lose weight and the reason is is because of the way you're eating what you need to do is Keep your insulin level flat. Keep your insulin level stable. You do that by eating three types of foods, protein, vegetables, and berries for fruit. It's a substitution plan. You're substituting your carbs with vegetables. You're substituting your fruit with berries. Most fruits are packed with sugar. Most fruits are packed in carbs. And then when the carbs show up, hunger is going to show up. So berries don't have all that carb. Berries don't have all that sugar. So the foods in green keep your insulin level flat. These foods are all the protein foods, vegetables, eggs protein, cottage cheese protein, the Power Crunch Bar, this is a great bar. This bar is high in protein, low in carb, low in sugar. This bar keeps your insulin level flat. Tuna, fish, berries. When you eat these type of foods, protein, vegetable, berries, you can make a thousand types of foods with these three types of foods. Then your insulin level stays flat. Hunger doesn't show up because ghrelin doesn't show up. You eat less, you lose weight, you have more energy, you have less hunger, you even age slower and you have less inflammation because your insulin level isn't high. Your insulin level is low. High insulin levels create aging. High insulin levels create inflammation. High insulin levels damage cells. So by eating, full so that you're still full, but you're just eating the right types of foods, protein, vegetables, and berries, 30 grams of carbs per meal, 30 grams of carbs for breakfast, 30 grams of carbs for lunch, 30 grams of carbs for dinner, around 90 grams of carbs per day, your insulin level will stay flat, you reduce your carbs so that your hunger is less, you're gonna have more energy, you're gonna feel better, 
without you even knowing you're going to lose weight at the end of the month, at the end of the year, because you're naturally eating less, because there's less ghrelin in your system. You're fighting less hunger, and so you don't have to think about it. You don't have to fight it. You're just understanding your hormone levels, and you're eating in such a way so that you're healthier, you have more energy, and you naturally lose weight. I hope you find this video helpful. For more information, visit us at drtohelp.com. I'm Dr. James Cogent. Thank you.